In this video, we will explain what a contactor is, how it operates, and how to wire it. A contactor is also called an electromagnetic contactor, although it is most often merely called a contactor. A contactor is an electrically controlled switch used to turn on or off an electrical power circuit. Typically, a contactor is controlled by a circuit with a much lower power level than the switched circuit. For instance, a 24-volt coil electromagnet may control a 230-volt motor switch. Contractors are generally used to switch high-current load devices, for example motors, which can be controlled either locally or remotely by manual or automatic control devices. Constructions The main parts of a contactor include the main contacts, auxiliary contact, coils, or electromagnets, and contact spring. The main contacts on the current carry part of the contactor are designed to carry a large amount of current. In the normal state, the main contacts are open. When the contactor is energized, the contacts change to the closed state. The auxiliary contacts consist of a separate set of contacts that are isolated from the current carrying main contacts. Auxiliary contacts are available in various versions, such as normally open contacts or normally closed contacts. From the designation of the auxiliary contact, it can be seen whether it acts as an NC or NO contact. The electromagnet or coil is the key component of a contactor as it is a driving force for closing the main contacts. The coil can be controlled by either DC or AC voltage. This voltage comes from an external control circuit. Operation Principle When the coil of the contactor is energized, it becomes an electromagnet, generating a force greater than the spring force. This force pulls the movable contact toward the static contact, forming a closed circuit that allows current to flow. The auxiliary contacts also change their state from closed to open, and vice versa. When the coil is not energized, the spring expands to push the movable contact back to its original position. The main contactor returns to the open state, and the auxiliary contacts also return to the original state. How to Wire Contactor Before wiring the contactors, it's crucial to consider the coil voltage. For instance, the contactor's coil may operate with a 24-volt DC or 220-volt AC voltage. In this contactor, there are wire terminals labeled as follows. 
the wire terminals on top are labeled from left to right as L1, L2, and L3, while the wire terminals on the bottom are labeled from left to right as T1, T2, and T3. The L1, L2, and L3 terminals are where the power wires connect to the contactor, while the T1, T2, and T3 terminals are where the device wires connect. The L1 contact connects to the T1 contact, the L2 contact connects to the T2 contact, and the L3 contact connects to the T3 contact. When the coil is energized, the device will have power. One contactor may have several auxiliary contacts, either normally open or normally closed if required. Another set of wire terminals on the front end is labeled as NO and NC. NO means normally open and NC means normally close. These contacts are used to send a signal to the PLC input or a relay logic circuit or for some other part of the motor control scheme. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification.